Hello everyone, welcome to the Global Esports Game 2023. This is Bangladesh's Road to GEG and this is me, your caster, Zine, along with Poco Loco. And you guys are currently watching the eFootball qualifiers, the national qualifiers. We are going to get our Bangladeshi champion during this time. Alright guys, this is your caster Poco back again with a very interesting match. So today we're gonna be watching the semi-finals finding our E champion. Having said the first bit and it's gonna be between Altair and Shish 272 and it's gonna be one hell of a match because both the players they have hustled their way into the semi-finals and now they are gonna be fighting for a position in the grand finals of the national qualifiers and Gonna be a very interesting match, Poco. Indeed, so we're seeing that this Liverpool thing how tough it's gonna be for players and we're gonna mix all the time. Uh, yeah, any experience with this kind of thing and in football, any game related to football, this is a very common scenario because they both of them are following the meta and if they have to follow the meta, both of them need to get the best teams, like, you know, according to the stats and everything. So they are going to be going to Liverpool for this match, and it's going to be a good match. And teams are going to be playing Liverpool, so as Poco Loco said, it's going to be hard for us to cast to some extent, but I think it's doable. Yeah, sure. We'll have to do it for the sake of the players. I mean, no one's going to sacrifice such a good team so that we don't face any problems. Alright, the game is going to get started very soon. That being said, we are here for the kickoff. It's gonna be Liverpool from the home side kicking it off. The ball goes to Fabinho, Fabinho to Jones. They are looking for an early attack. This is Diaz. Diaz is gonna be going for a dribble, passing it back to Fabinho. Fabinho to Thiago. Thiago goes for a pass, but it gets intercepted by the away side. And this time, the away side, they are in for a counter attack but it's gonna get uh, neutralized by the home side once again jones from the home side liverpool passing it on to diaz diaz is gonna go for a lob on to nunes but it's an offside that was a good try in the very first minutes but it didn't pay off well because it was an offside so we can see that the goalkeeper is going off with the shoot and thiago with the ball konate both of the teams are being very aggressive right from the beginning. I think it's gonna cost them a bit. I think you should take your time and play slow. They have 10 minutes of the clock. So I think you should take your time. Yeah, it's just 6 minutes of the game and none of the teams, they are backing, not, they're not backing down whatsoever. Mo Salah back to Thiago. Thiago goes for a pass. A bad attempt at a pass and it gets intercepted and this time this is Salah from the away side going for a pass but it gets intercepted by Van Dijk from the home side. He has once again the home side. Arnold is there to defend, but he's not gonna, you know, the tackle is not gonna connect. And this is gonna be a foul. The away side, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, the home side, they are gonna get a free kick. And I believe it's gonna, it's not gonna be a, that big of a deal because they're just gonna pass it around. And this is Jones from the home side. Tries to go in inside the D box. He's trying to look for a cross, but it gets intercepted by the away side. Once again, the away side, they are looking for a counter. They are moving the ball upwards from the left of the field and they are going forward, but it's gonna get intercepted by Arnold from the home side. Arnold passing it back to Diaz and Diaz passing it back to Salah once again, but this is an offside once again. Two offside right up the home team is being so aggressive, but on the other hand, away is literally not getting the ball to themselves. All right, we can see Jonas has the ball to himself. They're again making their way towards the D-box. They are being so aggressive, but hardly they are getting a chance to get the goal. And this is Robertson once again from the home side. Pass the ball upwards to Diaz, but it's going to get intercepted once again. This is Gogo Jota. And <clears throat> from the away side, and he is looking to get the ball forward, but it's going to get intercepted by the home side once again. Diaz is there. Diaz is going to be passing the ball onwards to Nunes, and Nunes is going to pass the ball back to Thiago. Thiago to Nunes once again. Salah with an open field, one on one against the goalkeeper, and he scores! For the first time in the match, Salah has scored, and this is the first goal of the match 
and the scoring board has just been opened by Mohamed Salah from the home side Liverpool. That was an insane goal. And as we said earlier that the home team is being super aggressive and that aggressiveness finally paid off and that was a smooth goal. Both of the teams were trying so hard but home got it to them. Yeah, and with that being said, the kickoff starts off once again, and this time it's the away side, and the ball goes to Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's gonna pass the ball to Salah, Salah to Diogo Jota, Jota back to Salah, Salah goes for a long pass, but it's gonna get intercepted by the home side once again, Diogo Jota passing it on to Bertson, to Bertson to Diaz, Diaz to... Jota once again to Gakpo. Gakpo goes for a pass, but it's gonna get intercepted. Once again, Thiago from the home side passing the ball to Salah. Salah did miss that pass and it's gonna, you know, get taken away by the away side once again. The away side, they are looking for an attack, an opportunity for an attack, but I don't think they are gonna get, they are not gonna get that opportunity because the home side, they're just aggressive and defensive at the same time. This is Diaz. Diaz goes for a pass. But it's gonna get intercepted by the away side. Salah once again with the ball, passing it on to Thiago. Thiago to Nunes. Nunes once again nice. scores. This is the second goal of the night for the home side Liverpool. The first goal goes to Salah, and the second goal goes to Nunes. What a great piece of gameplay! I think the away, away side needs to step up their game. They need to be either defensive or need to be aggressive. Because every time they get the ball, they just lose it to the home side. And the home side is super aggressive. They're just going in for the ball. Even if they lose their ball, they're just going to tackle it out, dribble it out, and get the ball to themselves and get into the D-box. They've tried so many times and got themselves two goals. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to be seeing some altercations in the uh, formations and everything. So, I be seeing a difference. Now from that away side, uh, Liverpool, and I believe he's still in the game because half if the halftime has not occurred yet, so he still has time at his hands. And that being said, we are gonna be match again a bit. So and this time the away side is kicking off again, and Robertson from the away side is gonna be holding the ball, gaining possession, sending the ball to Salah. Uh, from the away side and it's gonna get intercepted by Diaz and I think Diaz is gonna go for third, and he's trying his best but Altair man amazing piece of gameplay from his part and sheesh he is trying his best but unfortunately he's just not his day yet and he is using Cody Gakpo to go in but it's gonna not work out for him at this point and this time once again from the side Thiago is going but again, the ball is going to get taken away by the away side. And this time, she, she's going for that attack, but Altair is there to defend. So, finally, the away side trying to get the ball to go. I think they're somewhat successful. I think he's just warming it up. I don't think it's a big deal. And it's a best of three games, so like they can come back anytime. Alright, so the ball has been kicked off by the goalkeeper and... Van Dijk has the ball to himself and he passes it to fail pass and it's going to be a goal but the ball is in the D-box and that was a miserable pass. On to you. Uh, the pass it could have been better and I think uh, it was a failed pass but this time Nunes is one on one against the goalkeeper passing it on to Diaz. Diaz with that shot and he gets another goal on the board for home side Liverpool. My goodness, what great piece of attacking coming out from the home side. And it was it was a bit of a, you know, the away side. They were caught in surprise because you can see that there was no defenders and there was no one guarding Diaz or Nunes. And that is what costed them another goal on the board. And this time, I think they have this first half. It has been tremendously, like, beautifully secured by the whole tight Liverpool, and if it continues like this, I think we might be seeing some extraordinary goal numbers on the board. Yes, indeed. It hasn't been the first half time, and already we are seeing three goals. Alright, again, they have a chance to themselves, but it gets defended. Alright, so it's an offside again. They're gonna be, there's going to be a throw here. Alright, Alexander onto Salah. Thiago gets the pass successfully, but gets intercepted. And now, on to Fabinho. 
Fabinho gets the ball. It was a fail pass from Fabinho to Fabinho. I know that's funny to hear. All right, the way team has finally got themselves the ball. They are in the D-box. And is it going to be a goal? No! That was really close, but... They need to step up their game a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a good attempt, but unfortunately... Uh, another failed attempt, but it was... Like, he just missed the goal by a slim chance. And it's nothing to get discouraged about. And there is still time. He still has time to, you know, come back from the situation. But he just needs to score three goals to equalize and four goals in order to win. This time, the home team there again on the offensive. And I believe it's going to go in for a pass to Thiago. Thiago to Diaz. Diaz with that shot. And he scores once again. Liverpool home side. I think they have sealed the game because they are just that aggressive that... Uh, they just don't care about the defense anymore and they are just going in for the attack and that calls in for that half time. We are going to be moving on to the second half of the game and Poco Loco, if I do ask you, what do you think? What are you going to predict? Are we going to see a comeback or are we going to see Liverpool home side dominate the entire game? I mean, anything is possible at this moment. Four goals on the first half. That is insane to me. And we can see that the tides are going to change anytime soon. Just pray and hope that uh, there's going to be an interesting comeback that we could see. Yeah, hoping for the best for the away side in the second half. But the, the, but the home side, they did secure the first half tremendously well. And if it continues like this, they are going to be sealing the first match of the semifinals. But this is still a best of three. So if... Altair, even though he's leading, he still should be wary of his opponent, Shish2712, because this is a best of three, and even if the first match does not go in Shish's favor, he still has time to, you know, come back on the second and third game, so this is, this might change any time, but still, uh, kudos to Altair for securing four goals in the first half, Poco Loco. Yeah, and there is Yeah. yeah, as I was saying, the both of the players are and I think right now, right, the away side has started to kick off and onto Diaz, and the ball is in the f the D box but gets defended by Jones. Mohamed Salah has the ball himself. He is being patient. He's not being aggressive, and Jones. That was a fail pass onto the keeper. Now onto Diaz. Yeah, this time the away side, they are looking very scary because they are going in on the offensive. This is Konate once again taking the ball control. And Thiago from the home side passing it on to Jones. Jones tries to go in, but it's going to get uh, defended by the away side. And this is known as once again, Van Dyke is there, but he is going to miss the ball. So the ball goes to Phillips and Phillips. And this time, this is Salah once again passing the ball to Rupert. And even though that was not intentional, the ball did go away to the home side. And this is Diaz from the home side. Goes for a cross, but it's going to get defended. And this time, the away side, they are not looking for a counterattack because they are playing a bit safer because of the uh, previous attempts that they've made have not worked out very well for them. And this time, this is Elliot passing the ball to Gakpo, Gakpo to Salah and Salah is going to be there and he is going to be passing the ball to Diaz and Diaz is holding the ball for now but it's going to get taken away by Alexander Arnold and this is Jones once again passing the ball to Salah, Salah is looking for the attack and this and this is Arnold once again, goes for a pass onto Gakpo but it's going to get intercepted, this is Panate fighting for the ball against Elliot and uh, yeah, this time Gakpo tries to go in and Gakpo is going to get the ball and this time this is Elliot in it the ball to Robertson. Sorry, uh, this is Salah and the s and Salah from the away side scores. This is the first time the away side is scoring in this game, and it just shows us that the game has not uh, gone completely in favor of the home side. I think that goal that was easy, that was not accurate, I'd say, uh, too many risky passes, but nonetheless, that was a nice piece of, and they needed it very badly. Under the score, we can. See one and sixty-three minutes. All right. Again, we're seeing that the away side is slowly but surely making their way towards the D box, and nice piece of passing, but it gets intercepted by Arnold. 
and onto Mohamed Salah. That was a failed defense. Right? We can see again that this time away side is being super aggressive. The the tides have been changed, as I said before. Yeah, the tides have turned, but still, I believe that the home side they still have like three goal advantage. That's huge in football. And this is Diaz from the home side passing it on to Salah. Salah is gonna pass the ball back to Jones. Jones is passing it on to Salah. Salah to Nunes. Nunes gets control of the ball, but it's gonna get defended by Van Dyke. And Van Dyke is gonna sell the ball back to Elliot. Elliot goes for a pass, but it's gonna get intercepted to by Fabinho. And this is Salah once again. Salah to Jones. Jones. Goes for a pass on to Nunes, but it's going to get intercepted once again. This time, it's Jota. Jota to uh, the ball goes to Diaz this time. And Diaz is going to be holding the ball. Send the ball to Gakpo. Gakpo is holding currently. And this time, Konate sends the ball back to Thiago. Thiago to Salah. Salah goes for a pass to Jones, but it's going to get stopped by the away side. And Shish this time is looking, you know, something else. And he goes for another attack. But Altair with his amazing team. He did manage to defend against the pressurizing, uh, pressurizing chance of uh, Sheesh. And this time, this is this is uh, Altair once again going for the attack. Thiago is gonna be passing the ball to Jones. Jones is gonna be passing to Salah. Salah is gonna be going for a shot, but it's gonna get defended by Becker. That was a nice dribble coming in from the home side, but it was defended by the away side. Nonetheless, it was a good piece of gameplay. Alright, we can see that the ball is still not on the safe side from the away side. Alright, finally they got the ball to themselves, but what was that pass? That was very bad. Uh, I wouldn't comment like that, but it's still, uh, there is a failed chance, but Fabinho is gonna go in, and this time this is the away side going in for the attack, and they are gonna be passing the ball to Salah, Salah to Elliot. Elliot is gonna go for a shot, but it's gonna get defended, and this time this is... <clears throat> Arnold from the away side tries to go for a pass, but it's gonna get intercepted by Robertson. Robertson is gonna be passing the ball back to Diaz. Diaz is moving forward, and I think he's gonna go for a pass to Jones. Jones tries to get a great pass down, but it's gonna get intercepted. And 86 minutes on the clock, and they still have 14 minutes left. But still, I believe not 14 minutes. Sorry, they have three minutes left on the clock. And I think that being said, the home side they have sealed the game. And Fabinho once again goes for a pass to Jones. Jones is passing the ball to Diaz. Diaz is gonna, you know, he's gonna be there and he's gonna hold the ball down. Jones once again passing it on to Diaz. Diaz is gonna be passing. But the first match goes to the home side, uh, Liverpool. And that being said, we are gonna go for a short break. After that, we are gonna be back with the second match of the semi final. So don't worry, anywhere, guys. We'll be right back in a bit.
Hello everyone, welcome back to the second match of the semi-finals of Global Esports Games uh, Bangladesh Qualifiers and this time this is the second match between Sheesh and Altair. The first match was dominated by Sheesh 272 and Altair he is back for vengeance and he did end up changing the teams. This time he's gonna go for Madrid and this time Sheesh he is sticking to his old team. He is going with Liverpool and this guy Time is gonna be Liverpool versus Madrid. We are very excited for this match. This is me, your caster Zine, along with Poco Loco. Alright, guys, this time we won't be confusing Liverpool. Liverpool. This time Altair has decided to choose Madrid, and it's finally a uh, relief for us so that we can cast peacefully. Much long, and as that uh, Sheesh demolished Altair and I think Altair is planning for a comeback with a team change. So what do you think? Are we going to see a comeback this time? Yeah, I think this time we might be seeing a comeback because, you know, if you do lose one match, you are going to be coming back with vengeance. And we might be looking at that scenario and hopefully we might be able to get a best of three. Third phase of semi-finals and this time uh, the match is gonna get kicked off in a bit and that being said we are gonna be we are waiting for a bit because this time it's gonna be the stakes are even higher so both the teams they need to do their best to do as much uh, as possible alright as we can see that the game will start Odd gets into and the goal. And Konate, is he gonna? Yeah, he is, but he misses it. That was some nice of shooting, but the goalkeeper defends it very easily. Onto Mohamed Salah, he takes the ball and he's surely making his way towards the post, but gets intercepted again. Right for Benho, Andik, Alexander. Arnold. <laughs> Alright, this time this is Liverpool uh, sending the ball forward to Robertson. is holding the ball right now to Van Dijk. Van Dijk is going to be passing the ball and he goes for a long shot but it's going to get intercepted by Madrid. Courtois is going to be going for a long pass and it's going to go to Vinicius Jr. But it's going to get intercepted by Liverpool once again. Madrid is back for the attack. This is Vinicius Jr. He goes for a cross but it's going to get intercepted by Arnold. Vinny once again taking control of the ball to Cruz. Cruz to Benzu. Benzema tries to go for a header but it's going to get intercepted. Madrid still has chance. Benzema goes for a shot but great piece of defense from the Liverpool side. So one thing I must say that Beginning, but this time it in one side of the team. This time the game is very interesting. Sides are being and defensive at the same time. They are not letting away the ball. As we can see that the ball is tied. Liverpool had the ball itself, but lost again. Madrid slowly making their way towards, but then again gets intercepted by this. So. But it's literally going this side to that other side as I was saying that this match is being interesting because none of the teams or none of the players are being one-sided. Yeah, both teams are going back and forth and this time this is once again goes to the Madrid side and Madrid, they are looking for the attack but this time Jones, Jones sends the ball to Diaz, Diaz ball is going to get intercepted by Vasquez to Cortua, Cortua sending the ball to Cruz, Cruz is going to send the ball to Benzema, Benzema to but it's gonna get intercepted by Arnold to Konate and Konate is gonna be passing the ball to Van Dyke. Van Dyke passing the ball back to Diaz. Diaz to Tiago. Tiago to Diaz once again. Robertson trying to get the ball but it's sent back to Courtois uh, in the Real Madrid side and this time this is again Madrid trying to go for the attack. Modric to Cruz trying to go forward and it's gonna go Pass was it was a good attempt, but it's gonna get intercepted by Liverpool side. And this time Diaz once again is trying to go forward. Counter 
and counterattacks going back and forth on both sides. And this is fun to watch, but a yellow card being popped for the Madrid side. This is not looking good for them. And this time Arnold once again is going to be sending the ball forward to, uh, yeah, a good attempt, but Jones this time is taking control of the ball that I think he's gonna go for across. But the Madrid side, their defense is just that strong. Well, that free kick, that foul with me meant something, but nonetheless, we have a corner, and that that was almost close, but nonetheless, it's an onside again. All right, we can see that Liverpool has the ball himself, Robertson to Thiago, and Robertson again, he is slowly making their way towards the goalpost, but gets intercepted by Madrid. They are being super defensive. 30 minutes have passed, no goals we are seeing on the scoreboard. Alright, Madrid with that shot. That was an amazing shot, but nonetheless, the goalkeeper defended it very swiftly. Yeah, it was a good save from Becker, but this time it's going to go for a corner kick. And I think we're some changes uh, in the um, in the Liverpool side and I think they are gonna be change, changing their strategy a bit and he might be looking for a more aggressive Liverpool or an even more aggressive Madrid and the corner kick is being made by the Madrid side Madrid goes for the corner but it's gonna get cleared out by Liverpool and Madrid still has the ball with dishes Trying to get a cross down, but it's going to get intercepted by Van Dijk. And he's going to send the ball flying. And it's going to be a throw-in for the Madrid side. And Madrid is still dangerous for Liverpool because they are still near the D-box. And this time goes for a header. Benzema with the shot, but it's going to get stopped by Becker once again. That was a nice piece of being aggressive. So, yeah, as I was saying that... There is another kick off coming in from the corner and it gets defended by Mohamed Salah. Alright, Nunes to get the ball all to himself. He's way towards the goal post and the field was all empty to himself but it was defended by Madrid and is it going to be a goal? Ooh, nice piece of passing and that goal was amazing to watch. First goal for the scoreboard for Madrid and 38 minutes in the time. With that score and amazing, amazing goal from Benzema. But if we do look at that, the goalkeeper, he was fainted. And that being said, the feint did work and Benzema did capitalize the situation and scored a goal, opening the scorecard of the night for Real Madrid. And this time, this is Thiago. Thiago to Nunes! Nunes! One on one against the goalkeeper. And Courtois is there to defend. And this time, this is once again. You know, Madrid, they're going for the counter-attack, but it's going to get stopped by Konate. Konate to Arnold. Arnold is going to send the ball to uh, Jones. Jones to Nunes. Nunes is going to get defended by the Madrid side. And this is Hazard. Hazard to Benzema. Benzema is going forward. He is going to go one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper stops the shot. But another shot coming out. But it's just too far. And, uh, and the goal, it was a great chance, but... Because the ball just went too much above, the goal did not connect to the back of the net. And it's just unfortunate for Madrid. They wanted to get their uh, lead up by a bit more. And this time, this is Hazard once again. Goes for the shot, but it's going to get stopped by the goalkeeper. We can see that this time, al goal, and he has the... He has the first goal, and he has the... Luck on him with this time. I think Madrid is the team for Altai. So yeah. Alright, we can see that Vinny Jr. is making his way towards the goalpost. That was a nice bicycle shot. But nonetheless, it was a fail. So the first half has been passed. On to you. Yeah, the first half, it goes in favor of Madrid. But this time, we might see something different from the Liverpool side. And I believe they're going to be making some changes for the halftime. And... Uh, I think the if Madrid does go f go for a bus park, it might end up in their favor. But at the same time, they don't have much of a lead. They're just leading by one goal. If they do decide to uh, p uh, park the bus and it 
if the bus park gets intercepted then they are gonna be looking at a very sticky situation so i believe it's better for them to you know keep doing what they're doing and play aggressive as they have been playing for a while and i believe with that being said we are gonna be matching a bit and the changes are still being made so we might be seeing a different approach coming out from liverpool but i'll tell you here man amazing piece of gameplay from his part first match it did not go to his favor but this time he is winning the first half and if it does continue like this he might be end up he might end up winning the second half as well as the entire game this is Liverpool going for an early offense and gonna get stopped by Madrid Madrid goes for a counter attack but it fails and this time this is Thiago from the Liverpool side and he's trying to get the ball down Madrid goes for the attack Arnold is gonna send the ball back to Kellecker and this is Nate from the Liverpool side and I think they're gonna be passing the ball to Nunes Nunes is he does not just get the ball and this time this is Modric once again to Benzema Benzema to Cruz Cruz goes for a pass onto Hazard but it's gonna get stopped Arnold this time he is gonna be passing the ball and yeah Thiago once again taking regaining possession of the ball. This is Salah from Liverpool to Nunes. Nunes to Thiago once again. Thiago to Salah. Salah is looking very scary. He passes the ball to Jones, but it's gonna get stopped by Courtois. Well, that was nice piece of defending for coming in from the goalkeeper and Arnold with the corner. He's gonna go in for the shoot, but Mama Salah he fails to go ahead. Right, we can see that Konate has the ball himself. He it but gets intercepted but Benho he failed to get the ball on deck he got himself but but we can see that Madrid is making their way towards the goal post and I think that was a foul are we going penalty uh no I don't think so all right it's it's just gonna be a free kick oh the goalkeeper has yeah it's a goal kick coming out for Madrid for uh, I believe Liverpool and yeah, I think changes are still being made in the game, and I believe this time Liverpool they might be going for a more aggressive approach. Uh, we are going to be seeing some fresh legs being popped in the game, and yeah, some fresh legs coming up from the side of Liverpool, and I believe that's going to change the flow of the game for them. That might end up changing the flow for them, but at the same time, uh, Madrid they are still looking very scary, and I believe Madrid. Uh, if they do end up playing like this, they will be winning this match because till now we have just seen it on the offense, but we have not seen much offense coming out from the full side. And this time, this is Kalakar once again. He is a long shot onto Jones. Jones all gets intercepted by Madrid. And this time, this is Caballos from the side of Madrid. But the ball is going to get passed on to Nunes, but he's going to get intercepted by Madrid. And Madrid, they are looking very scary right now, but. Again, Liverpool has regained uh, control of the ball. This is Cortoa from the Madrid side. He is going to be passing the ball, but it's going to get intercepted by Liverpool. But Madrid once again regains control of the ball. Konate from the taking the ball back. Arnold to Henderson. Henderson back to uh, Caravillo. And this time, this is Madrid once again going for the offensive. Van Dijk passing the ball to Jones. But Madrid, they are looking very scary. I, I do. I do say so myself. The ball is just going back and forth. To and both the teams are looking to carry for the uh, Robertson passing the ball to the keeper. And this is Henderson once again passing it on to Jota. Jota to Jones. Jones is going to be dribbling. And uh, that was not the best approach for Jones. And I believe that this time Madrid, they did get an opening once again. But it's going to get defended by Liverpool. Robertson is going to pass the ball back to Diogo Jota. And I think he was looking for a cross. But there was no one to connect. And this time, this is Benzema once again from the Madrid side. And Benzema is going to go for a pass. And this time, the shot is going to get stopped by Kelleker. Alright. So, now we are seeing that Liverpool. Have and they need they need a single goal. He can tie it up. I and I think in semi final happens. So Arnold tried his best to defend, but that was life and death situation for Liverpool. That if that goal was in the goalpost, so it could have been it for Liverpool. Madrid would have gone a gone an easy win for themselves. Yeah, with a lead at 20 minutes on the 
clock, the Madrid side, they would have had an easier time uh, defending the first time the difference is still one. So if Liverpool does end up scoring a goal, we might be seeing the eighth extra time being popped. But Madrid, they are great at defending, and this time the ball goes to but it's going to go out and it's going to be a throw in for the Liverpool side. And yeah, some changes are still being made. And I believe this time this is side once again making some changes. But whatever change is being made, it's not working out very well for them. And yeah, if it continues like this, it might end up going in favor of Madrid. Yeah, and Madrid currently they are still they are not facing much of a problem. Defending because defense is just that strong. Now Vasquez, Alaba, and Mendy, and Courtois is all there to defend. And that being said, we are still made, and the match has begun. Again, this is the time, and I believe they are gonna go for a throw in, and yeah, it's gonna get intercepted by Madrid. And Madrid pass tries to go for the pass, but it's gonna get stopped. Roberto Firmino. In you to Cavajo and this again Cordova taking control of the ball and he is defend and yeah this time Madrid once again Rodrigo Rodrigo is gonna pass the ball to Diaz uh yeah and this Benzema goes for the shot but it's gonna get all right only ten minutes clock and this time Liverpool needs to step up there they really this. They really need two goals to win this game so that it does not lead to a third game. Alright, Fabio. He is in the D-Box, but that was a very close call coming in from Liverpool. But it gets intercepted by the goalkeeper. Alright, this time the ball is on the away side. But, nope. Liverpool, they are being aggressive as they were in the first game. Elliot, he is making his way, but gets dribbled, tackled by Madrid. All right, Madrid, had, Madrid has the ball to themselves, but gets defended by Fabio. Ooh, I think that was a foul. That was very nasty coming in from the players. Yeah, and this time the attack, the position is 50-50. That's very odd. But Madrid, but it's going to get by Kelleher. And Kelleher is going to pass the ball. Goes for, I think they're going to go for an attack. The final attack of the game. But it's going to get stopped by Madrid's side. Once again, Diogo Jota to Elliot. Elliot to Firmino. Firmino one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper. And he oh. scores a 90-minute goal. And Liverpool is still in the game. What a great piece of gameplay coming out from Liverpool. And I think we might be seeing an extra time. I was very hyped for this. I think that Liverpool stepped up their game. I think Sheesh is finally waking up from his sleep. And we, I think we're going to be seeing a golden goal on the next half. So let's see how it ends. And that was indeed a very nice goal coming in from Liverpool. Alright, the kickoff has been started. And we can see that Robertson has the ball to themselves. I think the both of the teams should be very defensive at this moment. I think they, they should be playing the next half. But as I was saying that the upper time is in action. Yeah, I believe this time we're going to go for an ET. And the extra time is going to be popped. So the entire match will depend upon who plays better in the extra time. And even now some changes are being made by Liverpool. And I... How many... Like, yeah, they have, uh, I think Liverpool, they have used up all of their subs out. They still have one sub left. And I think Sun is going to go. And, yeah, I believe that this time I might be seeing a different approach from teams. But I believe that the, that uh, we might be seeing some in the extra time because they've been giving their best. Players, they've been giving their best, but down to this 30 minutes of game time. Yeah, I think it's golden goal, right? Whoever gets whoever gets to get the first. I uh, it it's extra time, so let's see how how well that ends. And maybe we can see that Liverpool aggressive like the first match, but this time Madrid or Altai.
a his winning Kansas. As we can see that Liverpool moving ahead, but Bondi has the ball. That was passing, but right. It gets defended by Madrid and they're slowly making their way toward Benzema. Benzema gets intercepted by Van Dijk on Leno. And this time, this is once again Cordoba from Madrid's side. He is gonna go uh, for a shot and the ball is gonna get taken out by Fermi. Our Balho. And this time, this is Cavalos from Madrid and he's gonna pass the ball to Rodrigo. Rodrigo goes for a pass on to Benzema. Benzema to Diaz. Diaz is looking for a one on one against the goalkeeper and he scores Altair with the first goal of the extra time in the 100th minute. And he has secured his lead once again. If the game continu continues like this, I think it's going to be game over for Sheesh. And yeah, this was a very good goal for Altair. And even though. Keller was there, he could not defend that goal and this time this is Liverpool once again with the kickoff and they are going to go for a long shot but it's going to get stopped by Madrid. Madrid once again on the offensive, Robertson to Fabinho. Fabinho is going to go for a pass but it's going to get stopped. Van Dijk with an amazing piece of defense, another shot coming out but it's going to get defended. And this time this is once again, what a scissor kick from... Oh my goodness, an amazing goal from Diaz. Diaz is the extra time hero for Madrid. He has secured two goals and Madrid is leaning by two goals at the moment. Alright, yeah, as I was saying that I think we're going to be seeing a third game for this round. And this is being super interesting. As we can see that Madrid got two goals in the first five minutes of the second and I mean overtime, so let's see how well Liverpool defends it. Alright, on to Van Dijk. One minute left on the clock. They, they've given one minute extra time, but I don't think any, anything's going to happen in that one, time, one minute time. So let's see how it ends, and I think that's it. See another uh, second half on the overtime, and this time the uh, in the extra time, I think we are going to to the second half and this time this is the final chance for Liverpool to do something the final chance for Sheesh to do something and this is Vencio sending the ball to Diaz Diaz to Kevalos Kevalos is going to send the ball to Benzema but it's going to get intercepted by Van Dijk Van Dijk and tries to go send the ball to Jota but it's going to get intercepted by the Madrid side Vasquez goes for a pass but getting intercepted by the Liverpool side the Liverpool that is gonna look for an opportunity and of attacking and Carvalho is just a bit short. Carvalho, he's just a bit short and he could not get the ball. And this time this is a good kick from Madrid once again. And I believe this time Eddie does steal the ball. He's sending the ball to Madrid. And Arnold is gonna go for a pass, but it's gonna get intercepted by Madrid. Uh, some Bad passes being made by both teams. Yoko Jota taking control of the ball once again. He's going to go for a... Uh, it was a great cross coming out from Jota, but it gets intercepted by the Madrid side. Right, this time we can see that Madrid are literally dominating this time. And as we can see that Liverpool... Hard time going in for the ball. Right, so we still have time. 15 minutes time at the clock. So let's see how well that ends. Liverpool. I think we're going to be seeing a third game. Right, a free kick coming in. That was quick. Liverpool being super aggressive. They're not wasting their time. For Beno, that it was a fail pass onto Madrid, but gets intercepted by again. But yeah, something's happening. So as I was saying, that Madrid is slowly but surely trying to make their way towards the goal. Gets intercepted. So. Some nice piece of passing coming in, but uh, they are not making any progress. I think that's it. That was a super easy win coming in from Madrid. And we're going to be seeing a third game for this round of semifinals. So many more guys. We'll be right back after a short break.
Alright guys, we are back again and this is the third game of the semi-finals round and as we can see that the players have chose the same teams again and I think Madrid is a lucky team for Altair and this time I think Sheesh is not gonna go easy. I think the last game he was just yeah, let's see how, how well that goes. I don't think he is going to be that calm this time. So, yeah, this time I think we will be seeing an even more interesting match because the match score has already taken one to one. And this is going to be a do or die match for both Altair and she. I think either of the players who will match early on cut any slack because this is chance to being the best in my fight for games I don't think the match is and yeah I think match of the night and in this match but changes are being made match but it's just taking too long. Uh, I believe it's just their strategy and they are gonna be that strategy I'm so then I mean caster in a lot. So as my co-caster said, I think this match is gonna be very interesting because as we saw in the last two games that both of the players have insane skills onto their controller and I think they'll be using that skills onto this I the game is gonna get started and has the ball itself but Without being said, we are gonna be, be going for that kickoff, and this time this is gonna be Liverpool left side and Madrid in the right side, and I believe the kickoff is uh, from the full side and Liverpool. The match starts; they are making some. And that being said, the kickoff has been done, and this is passing the ball to Henry. In here once again to Joel Jones to Nunes. Nunes is going to be passing to Bolt back to Henderson. Get taken by Courtois. And Courtois, I think, is a long shot on uh, Diaz. But this is not a Thiago Jones. The ball gets taken out by Madrid. And this time, this is not a from Liverpool passing the ball to Henderson. Henderson. To Jones, but it's gonna get taken by Madrid once again. Benzema to Diaz. Diaz goes for the shot, but it's gonna get stopped by goalkeeper. And this is Robertson from Liverpool. I think he's gonna go for a pass on to Jones, and Jones is gonna be holding the ball for some time, but it's gonna get taken away by Madrid. And Madrid, they are gonna be looking for an attack. Back to Vinicius Jr. and Vinny is there. He's gonna look for a cross, but it's gonna get stopped by Konate. And Konate sends the ball flying outside, and it's gonna be a throw for Madrid. Alright, as we can see that the players are being super, super anxious about the formation they're using. The players that they're using. I think that they should. So they should take their time and be patient. That they can prove themselves that they have the capability to be the champion for Bangladesh. All right. So as I was saying, that was a nice, nice attempt coming in from Madrid. But nonetheless, we can see that the goalkeeper Keller has the ball himself, and the kick off has been started. And Nunes to Henderson. Henderson that was nicely intercepted, but nonetheless, stop. Henderson making his way towards Jonas. I think there's going to be a cross time soon, but gets intercepted by and onto the pass with Benzema. And Kroos is going in for the pass to Benzema again. Benzema is on the very corner side of the map. I think he's pass and Konate is going to intercept that on onto Firmino. Henderson Nunes he has the all to himself. I think. But he got he has gone for the pass and he lost the ball. Alright, on to Nunes again and gets intercepted by Benzema and onto the goal post. But Robert, that was a very risky pass. I think 
you should have let the goalkeeper get the ball. But nonetheless, the ball is onto the face side again. Nanes is going to go for the pass, but gets intercepted. But that is very risky. What, what, what was that? What's happening there? But nonetheless, Henderson has the ball. Oh no, he missed to get the ball. Bonate, he's making his thing towards the ball, but that was a fail pass. That was that was so hard. I think you should press you shouldn't press that button like that. All right, onto that cross, onto that throw, and Henderson got the ball to himself. Nunes again, but what's with all these passes? I, I mean, I'm getting confused. I'm getting very confused that the players are being super confusing with the passes. All right, the throw is coming in. Mil Miltau. And on to Va Vasquez. Thiago has the ball to himself. Vinny Jr. Yeah, Vinny goes for a long shot onto Benzema, but it's going to get stopped by the Liverpool side. Defense of Liverpool match is very good. And they, the last time we saw Corto do something like that was when he took uh, KDB's girlfriend. And this time we are again seeing something different coming out from and this. We're taking control of the ball. They are going to be sending the ball to Benzema, but Van Dijk is there. He's going to be intercepting, and Madrid once again goes for the intercept, and this is Madrid goes for it, going for the attack. Lucas Vasquez is there, and he goes for pass, but it's going to... What is happening? Both the teams, they're just fighting for the ball. It's a brawl at this point, and this is Thiago. Thiago goes for Nunes. Nunes eh, has the field open for himself. He's going to look for a pass to Jones. Jones goes for... Cross, but it's gonna get up by Madrid and trying to go the attack. Joe is acting up with his there for and Benzema passing the ball to Modric. Modric is gonna go for a long shot, but Arnold Alexander Arnold is there to defend again. A corner coming. Should be able to pay it off, but that head was not accurate. All right, so as we can see, that half has ended, and this time, no goals. The team, as I said before, the team warmed up, they are gonna use their every bit of skill so that they can fight fiercely. Right, for Ben Ho. He is trying to intercept the ball but gets failed. But nonetheless, Modric is make, making his way towards Zema. He is going to go in for the cross but gets defended. Nunes gets the ball to himself. Again, the field is all empty but gets intercepted. Nicely tackled by Reed and Henderson slowly making his way. Uh, oh, that was a nice tackle. Or else it could have been an offside for the Liverpool side. All right, as we can see, Kuz has the ball himself, and Jonas is just running to get the ball, but it's not happening anytime soon. Diaz, Diaz, coming in for the ball, is he an offside? No, not really. They had a chance right there, they could have passed, but they didn't have any time left. We can see that one minute extra left at the clock before the first half of the game ends. And Henderson, all right, that's it for the first half. I think we're going to be seeing some amazing goals in the second half. So what do you think? It was a goal this first half, but both teams were very keen on attacking. Attacks, they were good, but unfortunately, have, you know, did the entire attack, and that's what's going to cause them the second half of the game, because they will score. Someone has to score all. Else the game will again go to the extra time, and if that happens, it's gonna be you know, the chances of thing are gonna be slimmer. And so onwards, hoping to see they can have because nobody likes extra time and nobody likes tiebreakers. And this fits with the kickoff. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius goes for an early attack, but there is no one who have taken the ball. Arnold once again passing the ball. Thiago, Thiago to Nunes goes for a pass to Jones, but he's gonna get intercepted, and I think that has been called out. Time is gonna be a bit who are gonna get the free kick, and they are looking for 
Like a great, an amazing pass. And that being said, it is a goal for the Madrid side. The goal did get scored by Cruz. And just if we do look at the replay, a clean pass and a clean goal. Beautiful gameplay from the Madrid side. They are not playing that aggressive, but one chance is all they need. And one chance is all they need to score and secure the victory. So this time the pressure is on for Liverpool. So the you know, Liverpool they'll have to step have to by being by noon and he is looking to get attack Thiago to Nunes once again. And Nunes is gonna go for a cross, but it's gonna get intercepted. Thiago goes for the shot, but it's gonna get stopped once again. Alright, so as we can see that the tides have changed. Okay, that that sheesh going insane four goals but this time that we can see that the underdog Altair he is me for insane with kills every and he is not letting it go that easy putting up a fight onto sheesh and as we can see uh, Rob has a three on the he has Thiago Thiago making his way slowly towards. Thiago making his way to work. Football is on to Jones. And that was an insane goal coming in from Liverpool. Finally, a goal. And that was Jota. An insane goal. A nice pass coming in from Mohamed Salah. And that was just insane. It was a headshot as well. Yeah, an amazing goal coming out from both teams in the second half of the game. And this time, the pressure has been turned on for Madrid once again. And this is as he was there to not take the ball back. Liverpool coming in on the offensive, but is there to defend. And he is blocking the ball. Long shot and on the demo, but that was a very bad long shot. And the ball goes back to Liverpool. Has a chance now to. Jota once again, Jota passing the ball on to Jones. I think Jota has an opportunity, but he's gonna get stopped. And that being said, this is Andrich from Red. And he's got a long shot on Diaz and Diaz to Benzema. Benzema to Diaz once again, but that was a bad decision. He shouldn't have gone for that one too. That one too too long and it cost them the ball and the goal goal. And this time this is Liverpool once again, Jota to Jones, Jones is looking for a cross, he dribbles past, goes for a shot and he scores, what a great, what a great piece of dribble coming out from Jones and it did manage to score, putting Liverpool on once again. That goal, that was insane, that dribble and that shot, it was insane to watch and finally we can see that sheesh is going in for the win he's not he's not letting Altair get this win that easy he's putting up a fight and i don't think he's gonna go that easy all right we can see that um so nation changes coming in from the sides um there's gonna be some substitutions as well so as i was saying i think this match might go time so what do you think is we go into an time or um, Sheesh is gonna just unleash his last breath and kill Altai. Oh, no, it's so violent. This is football, man. And I do believe there is a chance for this match to go into the extra time, but there is also the chance of Sheesh uh, parking the bus and defending till death. And I think, with that being said, he might be going for that approach, but on the other hand, this is what we're the best clubs in the world. And Altair, one of the best players in Bangladesh, and I, with that being said, I, there is a good chance of Altair winning, not winning, like equalizing before the extra time. So if he does manage to, you know, uh, equalize, he has the higher win rate in the extra time. So, uh, that being said, we are going to be looking at the batch, and hopefully we will be seeing good games being made, but we can't be too confident about one goal. So the second half is gonna get Madrid with the 
and Hazard has well there they're slowly making their way towards the goal post but Fondi he intercepted with and Arthur I, I, I think but so nonetheless Oda is slowly making their way towards but gets intercepted ball on to Phillips that was bail cross but nonetheless Vasquez on to Alexander Arnold and Mendy has the ball himself Marco he is uh done as they are slowly making their way towards Vieta and I think well that play a little into the other player but nonetheless referee was looking on the other side so we can see that the ball is slowly going towards the goal post but gets intercepted by Liverpool and Madrid has the ball to themselves again and this time I think they finally have a chance but Nate is going in for the sliding tackle that was a nice piece of ending and on to Vasquez Fabinho intercepts with the passing and on to Alaba Nunes is trying to go in for the tackle but fails and on to Hazard. The ball is literally going from the left to right. Nothing's happening. I'm just waiting. All right, so yeah, something happened. So they have a throw right now on to Vinny Jr. and Mendy. Uh, Phillips tried to intercept but failed. Celabos has the ball to himself. They're slowly making their way towards the deep box but that was a failed cross. On to Mendy, sprinting his way towards the ball. Kieta. Konate is going to defend that ball again. Arthur. But Benho, known as finally Liverpool, has the ball to themselves. But that does not end well. Benzema. On to Senio. Alexander Arnold is going to defend that as well. Alaba is on the very last. And he does have very little stamina to himself. All right. Kieta. Vinny Jr. Yeah, that being said, this is Madhuri once again going in on the offensive, but it's gonna get stopped by Kelleher, and that was a great attempt for Madrid, but Liverpool, they're just that good at defending, and this is the 87th minute, we just have 3 minutes on the clock, and this is Liverpool with the last piece of attack they, that they have, and this is Madrid going for that counter-attack, the final counter-attack, but it gets intercepted by Fabinho. And you're sending the ball to Nunes, Nunes to Jota, and Jota one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper, and he scores. With that being said, the match has been sealed for Altair and Sheesh with that two-goal advantage with 90 minutes on the clock. And he just has two minutes left on the extra time, and I think this has been sealed. And yeah, the, the great piece of uh, scoring from Liverpool, man. Madrid just has a bit more chance before the match ends and this is there is three minutes left on the clock but I think Madrid they're just having fun and I think the game has been in favor of Sheesh. With the great rainbow and they're just playing around and this is Red Sun again and the match has been sealed. The first semi-final goes to Sheesh and he is going to be moving on to the grand final. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back in a bit with the second semi-final.
Hello everyone, welcome to the second semi-finals of Global Esports Games 2. Bangladesh is route to Global Esports Games and and you guys are currently watching eFootball and this is me, your caster, the other caster, he'll be here in a bit, but this match is gonna be between Game 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 in Error and Mohi. So this match is gonna be very competitive because the one is gonna go to this uh, to the grand finals where they will be facing off against Sheesh, who has won the previous match. And this time, I think we might be seeing something uh, different, because last match we did see a Liverpool versus Liverpool, and the second match was a Liverpool versus Real Madrid. But this time, I think it's Liverpool versus Inter Milan. This match is going to be very interesting, because he has a history of... Um, he has a history of winning in competitions, and this time is against Game in Error, and are very excited to see this. Match. So changes are still being made, and after the changes are made, we will be going in into the match. And I believe, I believe, as I've seen in the previous match, so are still in the um changing phases. We will be going into the match in a bit. At the change, made, nobody wants. To, they are, you know, putting their A game on doing their best and I believe we very head to head match because both of them are amazing players. Yeah, none of them would want to end this stage because they have already played against a lot of players and reached the stage of semi finals and if they do end up winning this match they will be competing for the number one slot in Bangladesh and we might be even be getting a best in Bangladesh to this game itself and the match has been kicked off. This is for video Goes for a pass, but it gets intercepted by Mila Milan, and this is Keita, Keita passing the ball to Firmino, Firmino to Nunes, Nunes goes for the shot, but it's gonna get blocked by Handanovic, and this is Taro Martinez sending the ball to Lukaku, but it's gonna get intercepted by Liverpool, Thiago, Thiago sending the ball back to Diaz, Diaz is gonna be moving the ball, and this is Thiago once again, Thiago is gonna be going for a pass, but it's gonna get intercepted, and this is is here Robertson Robertson to Thiago Thiago and he loses the possession this is Lukaku Lukaku trying to sell Van Dyke Van Dyke is gonna send the ball back to Thiago Thiago to Nunes Nunes to Firmino Firmino to Nunes once again Nunes is here one on one but it's gonna get intercepted by DiMarco and my co-caster is back so say hello to Poco Loco alright guys sorry for today I'm finally back and as we see Second game of the semi finals has been started, and this time we can see that Arnold in for and a Benho shoot, but it gets intercepted. Robertson onto Diego, and it's gonna be a goal. Ooh, that was a nice header, but it it was on the goal bar that was closed, but no cigar. But as we can see that. Babinho is trying again to get the ball, but this time players are intercepting in. So as we can see that Vandi onto Babinho and Kita, they are going in for an aggressive push again. Diaz, but gets intercepted by Dumfries. All right, Fabinho, Diaz, again Fabinho onto Nunes, Kita, but gets intercepted again, and the goalkeeper is in for the shoot. Right, as we can see that this time the Liverpool is being aggressive again. I don't, I don't get it. Is it about Liverpool or the players? Because every time I'm seeing a game from Liverpool, they are being super aggressive. And Phillips, he is gonna go in for the defensive head. And this time on to Roberto and Diaz. The field is all empty. They can go in for a shoot, but the goalkeeper is gonna intercept and on to Phillips. Again, and Roberto Firmino, and it's gonna be intercepted again. Robertson Diego is gonna go in for the defense, but nonetheless, Kieta Diego, they're all they're again trying their way to get into the D, D box, but is it gonna end up as a goal? They are defending that ball again, but that was too late, and we are going to see a throw coming in. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a throw that's coming out from Liverpool. This is Thiago from Liverpool. He think he's gonna go for a pass, but it's gonna get intercepted. Uh, Inter Milan, they are looking a very aggressive this time. This Barrella and Barella is gonna send the ball to Calgo. And this is Lautaro Martinez once again sending the ball to Lukaku, but Lukaku misses. But the ball is still there. Barella is trying to get the ball, but this is Phillips once again passing the ball to Thiago. Thiago to Nunes, Nunes to Diaz, and this time. Uh, Liverpool, they're looking for a counter-attack, and I think they're going to go for a pass. What a great nutmeg. This is Thiago. Thiago losing the ball to the defense of the Inter Milan side, and this is Cajanglo, and he's going to pass the ball to Di Marco. Di Marco to Skriniar, and I think it's going to go for... Firmino has taken control of the ball. If he does go for a cross, this is, there's a good chance that Liverpool might end up scoring, but this is Thiago. Thiago goes for the shoot, but it's going to get defended by Inter Milan. And I think this is going to be a corner kick for Liverpool. And Arnold is the one who's going to be taking the corner kick. He's going to send the ball flying to Nunes. Nunes goes for the header, but it goes outside. And that being said, I think it's going to be a goal kick for Inter Milan. Handanovic is going to be the one who's going to take the shot. And it goes forward onto Lukaku. Lukaku goes for a header, but it's going to get stopped for Barella. Barella sending the ball to Lautaro Martinez. It's one on one against the goalkeeper. He shoots, but the goalkeeper defends. Great piece of blocking from the goalkeeper. Amazing passes coming out from Inter Milan, but unfortunately, the goalkeeper, he was just too good. And there's going to be another corner kick, and I believe the corner kick is going to go. Uh, to Inter Milan and Inter Milan they are looking for the perfect position and I believe that Carl Hanglo is the one who's going to be taking it and goes right into Allison's hand. Five minutes have already been passed and this time we are not seeing a bit collision coming in from the teams but there was no foul coming in from the referee so keeper has the ball. Well, Phillips trying to get the ball. That was the kick right into the backbone, but the referee looks the other way. Thiago, gonna, he's trying to get the ball, but Vandy, he has intercepted the ball. And Phillips, ball is in a very tight situation. Martinez almost had the ball, but Allison, the keeper, he got the ball. And Diaz is going to get the ball to himself. He is... Going in for the long pass, but gets intercepted, and again, Robertson has the ball to himself. Alexander Arnold almost had the ball to himself, but it was intercepted nonetheless, and we are seeing a very tight situation, and that's an insane goal coming in from Inter Milan, and Lukaku with the first goal on the first 43 minutes of the timer, and I think that's going to be the first goal first half and I don't think there's going to be another goal coming in from the first half because there's literally two three minutes left on the clock and Nunes is going to go in for the kickoff. Diego has the ball to himself. Liverpool is being super aggressive at this time. I think they want a, another goal this time before the timeout ends and one minute extra on this timeline as we can see and Inter Milan is being super aggressive. Arnold is going to go in for the defense. Diego has the ball to himself, and that's how we end our first half. Instead, Milan is leading by one goal, and yeah, we all we are all very familiar with the Italian defense, and that is what we're seeing in this match because defense from Inter Milan it was just amazing. Liverpool they tried their best, but one opportunity is all it takes for a goal, and that is how Inter Milan they got the goal. And I believe that if the match continues like this, it's gonna be game over because. Currently, Inter Milan, they're just pressing onwards and Liverpool suffering quite a bit from the attacks of Inter Milan. And yeah, this time it's going to be Inter Milan's kickoff and they are going to go forward from the get-go. And this is Correa from Inter Milan. He's going to look for the cross, but it gets intercepted by Arnold. Keita, Keita passing the ball. Firmino, Firmino, Thiago, Thiago to... Uh, Diaz, Diaz is taking control, he will go for a pass, but that was not a good attempt, and Milan, they are trying to get the ball back, and this is still in, like, it's looking very risky for Milan, but not anymore, they are going to be passing the ball, going for, and this is Fabinho, Fabinho to Keita, Keita to Fabinho once again, and, yeah, this time, this is DiMarco, DiMarco, 
goes for a shot, but it's gonna get stopped. And once again, Correa has control of the ball, but he is competing against Phillips. And Correa has finally gotten the ball. Lukaku asking for a pass, and I think the ball oh almost went to Lukaku, but it did get intercepted by Van Dyke. And this is Arnold once again. Two for Minio. For Minio two. Keita, Keita to uh, Nunes. Nunes has chances of scoring, but he passes the ball to Arnold. And DiMarco is the one who's going to be taking the ball out of the equation. And this is Lautaro Martinez once again. Thiago to uh, Keita. To Keita to Martinez once again. Lukaku. Lukaku sending the ball to Correa. Correa is again battling Phillips for possession of the ball. And Phillips wins. And this is Alisson's ball once again. And he's going to be passing the ball on to to Nunes, Nunes to Diaz, Diaz to Keita, Keita back to Nunes, and I think Nunes has the chance that he shoots, but he's just too far away. That shot was... Kick, but nonetheless, the aim, but dancing, pass to himself, but it's intercepted. And Martinez to Lukaku and Van D has the ball to himself. Ali Allison and now pass Robert passing on Diaz. That pass is trying way to get into the deep and Kieta and the ball is being intercepted by DiMarco and Alexander Alexander Arnold is trying to get the possession. Trying to defend and Arnold having a very hard time to get the ball. Yeah, he's trying his tackling his dribbling ball and he passes to it. And now Van D Diego Diego that was a pass, but nonetheless Ooh. that was a nice shot. But yeah, he has the ball themselves and that's going to be caught. And we're change and. Inter Milan. I think uh, this is the people who are making changes, and that might uh, end up in their favor because currently they are lacking a bit behind at the attacks and everything, and they have subs left, but trying to do something with their attack system. And yeah, currently Liverpool's defense is pretty good, but they are lacking a bit on the attack side. And Inter Milan, they are attacking pretty well, and their defense as well as we have seen in previous times and yeah kick I believe from Alison Becker and Alison is gonna be sending the ball forward on to Nunes and Nunes to Car follow and I think it's gonna get intercepted by Irbilad. Di Marco has possession he will be sending the ball forward, but Phillips is the one to take control to Carvalho and I think he's gonna sending the ball to Elliot Elliot to Nunes but it's gonna get intercepted uh, Martinez has taken control. He will be passing the ball to Jekko and yeah, but Gakpo has taken control once again. This is Nunes, Nunes to Elliot, Elliot to Nunes. Once again, Nunes goes for the shot, but it's gonna get uh, stopped by Handanovic. Handanovic goes with the long shot, and I think they are looking for a good opportunity. And this time, this is Lautaro Martinez, but he's gonna lose the ball to Van Dyke. Van Dyke passes the ball back to Elliot, Elliot to Gakpo. Gakpo to Carvalho, Carvalho to Diego Jota, to Nunes, Nunes was looking very scary in that situation, but I believe that was an offside, and yeah, that offside being called, the ball is going to go back to Inter Milan, and they are going to another goal kick. Alright, 76 minutes have been passed, and in favor of Inter Milan, I think Liverpool needs to step up their game a bit, they are trying their best nonetheless, so Diego... Trying to get the ball into the D box, but gets intercepted. A long pass onto Korea. It was a failed pass onto Arnold and onto Phillips. It's a pass one on one coming in from Arnold and Phillips, but it was intercepted nonetheless. And Zeko has the ball to his possession onto his teammate. And now Korea is trying to make their way towards a second goal, but nonetheless, Fabio is there to defend the ball. Uh, is going in for the long pass, but that was intercepted very soon. Benho trying his way to get the ball. I think that was a foul. Two players trying to kick off a guy. Yeah, the referee surely seeing that, but no seeing the kicking in the ball that's happening. Before. 
nonetheless, we're seeing a free kick coming in from a fan, and I we can see a two fan wall coming in from Liverpool. What do you think? Is this kickoff going to play against uh, Liverpool, or is it going to be in favor of offside? Sorry. Yeah, that was another offside for Inter Milan, and the ball goes back to Addison Becker, and he's going to go for a long shot, trying to send the ball to Nunes. Nunes did not get the ball, but it's going to get intercepted, and this time Addison Becker with an amazing piece of goalkeeping coming out. Fabinho to Elliot, Elliot to Caravallo, and he's going to pass the ball back to Nunes. Nunes is going to pass the ball to Elliot, but Inter Milan with the Italian defense, they are there, are going to be defending this but it's gonna get intercepted by Milan. This is Mikitarian, and he, he has a good chance, but it goes for the pass, but it gets intercepted. Mikitarian again taking control, sending the ball to Korea. Korea almost getting the ball, but it will be defended by Liverpool. Liverpool going for that final attack because they still have two minutes left on the clock. Uh, but unfortunately, the Milan, they're just not giving them any opportunities. Di Marco sending the ball to Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Uh, trying to you know, send the ball forward again, but this is done. But the match has been called, and that is a win for Inter Milan. And don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back with the second match of the semifinals.
all right guys we are back again with the second round and the second game of our semi-finals and starting off we had the kick off and now we're seeing that elliot is trying to make himself get himself the ball for benho as the pass and trying to get themselves another and nunes is trying to get the ball but on to the goal and as we can see that martinez had a head but it was a fail head elliot get himself Diaz on to Elliot. That was a nice piece of pass coming in, but gets intercepted nonetheless. And on to Martinez again, as we can see that again, that was a fail pass coming in. Fabiano gets himself, and Elliot misses to get the ball. Robertson on to Diaz, and we can see that both of them are patient. None of the team is aggressive at this point, at least. And Barilla, he is surely going in for the long pass but Kieta with that interception and on Fabinho is making himself Elliot onto the pass with Nanes and Robert to Nanes has the ball to himself that was a nice shot but oh amazing shot coming in from Li Liverpool and that was a fine goal but unfortunately that was an offside I think that was an amazing goal but it could have really paid off it was an offside but nonetheless starting off 12 minutes have already been passed Phillips with the head but he misses the pass but still gets the ball to himself Nunes he is making his way towards the goal post but DiMarco is going to intercept and Robertson is going to go in for the defend but nonetheless Baku gets the ball to himself Robertson Robertson trying his best but he finally pays it off but I was too quick to judge. Elliot gets the ball to himself. Kieta. And as we can see that Inter Milan, they are very defensive. They're not letting the ball go away from their foot. As we can see, Nanes is going to win for the shoot. But it gets intercepted by the goalie. Yeah, this time Inter Milan, they are looking to go into the offensive. And yeah. Once again, Liverpool with a great piece of defense. Dumfries taking the ball. He's going to go for a pass. On to Lautaro Martinez. And I think Martinez has a good chance. But it gets intercepted by Van Dijk. But Lautaro Martinez once again taking control of the ball. Dribbling pass. Van Dijk, he's going to go for a pass. And a great cross. And the goal getting scored by Inter Milan. Beautiful goal coming out from Korea. And Becker, he was there. But he there was nothing he could have done. To avoid it, a great pass coming out from Lautaro and a great cross and amazing finish from Correa. And this is Diaz once again passing the ball to Elliot. Elliot, uh, and this is Diaz once again. Diaz trying to get a pass down to Elliot, but it's gonna get intercepted by Milan. And this is Martinez once again going for a long pass, but it does get intercepted by Phillips and Nike passing the ball to Keita. And this time it is once again. Inter Milan's time to shine, and this is Martinez sending the ball to Calhau, um, and this is Dumfries, Dumfries to Lautaro Martinez, and that was a failed pass from Inter Milan, and the ball gets taken out by Liverpool, Liverpool going for a counter-attack, bad pass coming out from Liverpool, and ended up getting, that ended up getting the ball back to Inter Milan, Inter Milan with a great chance at attacking, but it's going to get defended by Liverpool. This is Elliot once again from Liverpool's side, passing the ball to Nunes. And Nunes passing the ball back to Keita. Keita to Firmino. Firmino to Nunes. Nunes, great chance, but the Italian defense is here and they will be taking the ball out of the equation. And this is Taku sending the ball to Barea. Barella sending the ball outside. That was, I don't think that was in, intentional coming out from Mohi. And yeah, that is a yellow card. For Barella, if I'm not wrong, and yeah, this is Robertson once again trying to get the ball forward for Liverpool. This is Diaz trying to get a pass down, but Lautaro Martinez intercepts. Lukaku gets the ball. He's gonna go for a pass, but he goes for a cross instead. And yeah, that was not the best decision. And Diaz is here sending the ball to Nunes, and this is Dumfries once again sending the ball to Barella. Barella to Lautaro Martinez. I think Martinez is going to go for a pass. Beautiful pass from Lachano Martinez. Another good cross coming out, but it's going to get intercepted by Liverpool. And Liverpool is going to go for the counter-attack with Diaz taking the front line. Oh, 
right as we can see that Elliot is sprinting his way towards the goalpost. Diaz onto the backhand. That was nice cross coming in, but gets intercepted by Liverpool. Inter Milan, sorry, my mistake. And Robertson is, is not gonna let that counter attack go waste. Diaz onto Elliot. They are just passing their way towards, but Inter Milan with that nice defensive sliding tackle coming in. But nonetheless, Liverpool is still on the counter attack. They are not going easy. They are being super aggressive at this point. Chieta onto Firmino, and they are slowly making their way towards the. Go post, and that was a fail shot. They had a chance that was close, but Inter Milan, they are being super defensive. They are not that easy. And Elliot, they still have the ball, and only one minute left at the clock. That was a nice shoot coming in, but there was no player as a backup so that they can go in for the goal. Elliot is intercepting the ball again, but the one minute timer has gone off. And on the score in Liverpool, zero and Inter Milan with one goal. The first half has been completed, and we are going to the second half. So this is the second round of our semi-finals and the second game as well. If Mohi manages to win this game, then it's all done. But what needs to step up his game, and as we can see, that Inter Milan is going in for the kickoff. And they are being aggressive right off. And on to Korea. Korea is tackling his way towards. But Liverpool. Defensive play. And Elliot, they're just going to counter attack right off the back. But Inter Milan, they're just defensive play. And they are making their way towards. They are not taking up weight. They are just. In for the attack, nice shot coming in from Inter Milan, but Allison, that keeper, his magic hands gonna be nonetheless. And then on Arnold. Arnold Alexander Arnold is just back. And the ball goes to Keita at the moment. And this is Nunes has a chance of scoring, but the ball will get taken out by Inter Milan. This is Correa. Trying to get a pass down to Lukaku, but it will get intercepted. This is Town Hall, and once again, he will be trying to get a pass down to Correa. Correa is looking very dangerous, but he's going to get stopped by Van Dyke, and Van Dyke is passing the ball to Arnold, but <clears throat> it's going to get intercepted. But Liverpool, they get it, they regain their possession, and this time, this is Diaz. Diaz from Liverpool is trying to get the ball back to Keita. Keita to uh, Roberto Fabinho, but it will get intercepted by Inter Milan, but they still have a chance of scoring, this is Elliot with the shot, and Liverpool scores, this is the first time Liverpool is scoring in the past two matches, and a great goal coming out from Liverpool, but this time Inter Milan, they will have to step up their game if they want to come back from this and win this match, but yeah, Liverpool, great piece of attacking coming out from their side. I mean, I almost thought that that was going to be an offside, but nonetheless, that was so, Ty coming in from... And as I was saying before, that Liverpool is being super... They are not going to let that championship go away. As we can see, that Inter Milan is super... Again, and they're going in for the pass. Amazing shoot coming in. That was insane. What was that shot? And that was super quick. As I said before, they are not giving Liverpool a break. They are just pushing. They are just going in for the shoot out. Being super aggressive. And on to Minio. As we can see that both of them, they are being aggressive. They are not playing on the defense anymore. They are just being defensive. They are just looking for the aggression. They are pushing in. And as we can see, Bella has about 12 on Kieta coming in. They are intercepted by Correa. And they are moving forwards. But Phillips is right there to stop them. And Kieta on to Feminho. Elliot is going to get that ball. It was a tight pass. But nonetheless, they got the ball to themselves. And Elliot! It's an offside. That was a close call, though. Yeah, another offside for Liverpool. I think Inter Milan, they're doing, 
is that they are trying to put as many offside traps as possible and that is working out wonders for them and this time we're gonna changes being made inside Inter Milan I think they will be changing some uh they will be changing one or two players as well and it might work out very well for them and with that being said we been but currently currently in Milan they pressurizing Liverpool to a certain extent and if it does continue like this it will be tough for them to come back from this Liverpool they are feeling the they are still behind by one goal and live in Milan they are thinking they are comfortable but they will try their best to score another one and put in the lead because one goal lead is not that big of a deal because if uh, if Liverpool does end up securing a goal it will be uh, tied and if it's tied then we will be heading on time and nobody that Akpo from side to Jones Jones goes for a pass but nobody's there to connect Jones takes the ball back he is looking for a cross but it will get defended by the goalkeeper great piece of goalkeeping and this is Victorian and he will be sending the ball to Korea but it will get stopped by Alexander Arnold is Sala Sala with the pass and it will be Defended by the goalkeeper, great piece of goalkeeping coming out from the goalkeeper from Inter Milan side. Amazing gameplay, man! And this is gonna be a corner for Liverpool side, and they are gonna for a chance, but it's still there for Liverpool. But now it's gonna get passed on forward. But Gakpo is there, Van Dijk taking control of the ball, sending the ball to Robertson. Robertson trying to open up this opportunity for Liverpool. As we can see that the players are being super aggressive in IRL. So, nonetheless, Arnold, help Leo. They are making their way to work. And that was a nice piece of loss, but it was intercepted. Trying to make his way to work. But it was intercepted by Inter Milan. What was that pass that almost seemed supernatural? But Nonetheless, they are surely making their way towards the goalpost, but it was intercepted by Liverpool. Liverpool is not going slow. They are just passing in, going in for another goal, but gets intercepted again by Benho. He has the ball himself, gets intercepted by Correa. Correa onto Martinez. E right, that was a good Ball and the players are getting aggressive so we can see the hype is real the championship in Bangladesh that hype that's aggressive they are being super that serious at this moment and Arnold onto the ball going in for the defense Robertson is gonna be there for the defense Gapko he is surely going in for the attack and Mohamed Salah has the ball to himself but gets intercepted Phillips gets the ball to himself. That was a fail pass. And Inter Milan is surely making their way towards the ball. But gets intercepted by Arnold. Again, Arnold is the defending guy who is making sure that there are no in from Inter Milan. Two minutes left at the clock. And Mohamed Salah going in for the kill. I mean, sorry, the goal. On the yeah, and that being said, I think this is game over for, uh, yeah, it will be sealed in favor of Kobe at this point. Are still very, like, playing very aggressive, and again, uh, this is Inter Milan going in offensive. They will be for a cross at this point, but Van Dijk is there zoning out Lautaro Martinez, and it's gonna be a throw in for uh, Inter Milan and Inter Milan taking control, and yeah, Mkhitaryan with the last. Piece. So, just, you know, wasting as much time as possible. And one last attempt, but it's not a goal. And that being said, Jones is trying, but this is Inter Milan once again. I don't know what's happening inside the D-box at this point. Person trying to send the ball forward, but this is Jekko. And the timer has still not ended. And finally, this. Uh, oh, there is still a chance for something, because this has been a foul from Person. And, yeah, Inter Milan with the last chance to score. But they don't need it that much because they are still they are leading by one goal and yeah they are just still trying to do something inside the D box. We were supposed to have three minutes on the clock, but we are still at 97 minutes and the match is still going on. And finally, Inter Milan has secured the victory, and so has Mohi. He will be going on to the finals to face up against Sheesh.
So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back in a bit. And yeah.
Hello everyone, welcome to Bangladesh's Road to Global Esports Games 2023. You guys are now witnessing the grand finals of eFootball. The winner will be representing Bangladesh and possibly become the champion of Bangladesh. This is me, your caster Zine, along with Poco Loco. Alright guys, I'm back again with another interesting match and this is the finals which is going to be best of three among Shishi, Shish and Shish and Mohit. Game has been started already. We can see that Inter Milan is being aggressive again, but let's see how, how well that ends. So we can see that Henderson, Fabinho, onto Jones, and they are surely making their way as a key box, but gets intercepted by Lukaku. Lukaku is trying to that backwards sliding tackle but right, so we're gonna see seeing a throw coming in from Liverpool no sorry Inter Milan and Dom Fries is gonna throw and again he has the ball to himself right Jones trying to intercept the ball Robertson is going in for the sliding tackle that was surely a foul but I don't think the ref's gonna go in for that so the keeper has the ball to himself yeah, with that being said, we're going to go for a goal kick again. And yeah, there's a goal. Alright, uh, we will have to go for a short break. So don't go anywhere, guys. We're facing a bit of technical difficulties. And we'll be right back. Hello guys, we are back. Uh, our players had some difficulties with their controller, so we have fixed the problem and we are back again with the grand finals of all the Bangladesh's road to GEG 2023. And this is like sending the ball back to Henderson. Henderson taking control, trying to get the ball to Nunes, but it's gonna get intercepted by the side of Inter Milan. And, and this is Inter Milan going in on the offensive, Taku chasing after the ball, but I believe Robertson was have gotten the ball first but it goes for another goal kick and the keeper shoots the ball to Van Dyke Van Dyke to Inyo passing the ball to Jones Jones passing it on and this is Correa trying to get a ball passed down to Lukaku but it will get intercepted and I believe that was offside once again yeah that was an offside and Lukaku was to D and with that being said, this is Kelleher once again. He's gonna take the goal kick and again, yeah, from one side to another. And this is me, your caster. All right, yeah, we can see that eight have been already passed, and as we can see, that both of the team are being super tactical, they are not in for the aggressive pitches as well. Henderson onto Salah. Salah making his way towards the goal. 
that was a nice piece of dribble, but that shot that was a bit too high. I think it could have almost got in, but nonetheless, the goalkeeper is going in for the kick, and Robertson be there to defend, but nonetheless, on to Fabinho and Diaz almost had the ball to himself. Barella, they are having a fight. Jones on to Diaz. Diaz is making his way towards, but gets. Defended by a dunk prize, and on the other hand, Vandy has the ball himself. He is trying to get a safer spot, but gets defended by Inter Milan. And we can see that Jones is yeah, that was a nice bit of dribble coming in from Jones onto Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah onto Henderson, but gets defended by Inter Milan and on to. Arnold and as we can see that the players are passing through they are none of none of them are making their way to the box and some aggressive move coming in from the players but nonetheless the goalkeeper shoots off Diaz has the ball to himself Robertson onto Fabinho and Barella he is trying to make his way towards the D box Lukaku Lukaku is going in. He might get a chance to go in for the goal. He is trying to go for the cross. And that was a nice head coming in from Inter Milan. 1 on 0. 31 minutes. And there was the first goal. Yeah, the first goal has been scored by Inter Milan. And the scoring board has just been opened. And this time Mo is showing his dominance once again. But that was... Like she, she tried to do his thing, but unfortunately there was one opening, and he fully capitalized that opening, and he did get the goal. Goal, and this time this is Jones once again. Liverpool is going to send the ball to Diaz, but it will get intercepted by Dumfries, and this is <coughs> Fabinho once again sending the ball to Dev Van Dijk. Van Dijk tries to go for a pass, but it will get intercepted by Milan. Lukaku has the opening, but it will get defended by Liverpool, and this time this is. Uh, Barella once again trying to do something. Barella passing the ball on to. Uh, it was a good attempt at a pass, but it will get intercepted. Jones once again sends the ball to Diaz. Diaz taking control of the ball, and Diaz is the one who's going to be sending the ball to Lautaro Martinez. Lautaro Martinez goes for a great pass and another shoot, but it will get intercepted. Arnold trying to defend, but again, this is here in the Liverpool D box, but Liverpool does manage to defend somehow, and now they're going to go for the counter attack. This is Nunes. Nunes has the chance. Back to Henderson. Henderson to Salah. Salah to Henderson once again, sending the ball to Nunes, but it will get taken out by the goalkeeper. See that nice moves coming in from teams, but this time. Martinez has the ball to himself. Barella, they are surely making their way towards the D box again. Kukate onto Henderson. Henderson onto Nunes. But that was a miss pass coming in. Nunes has the field all to himself. And that was a nice goal coming in from Liverpool. Darwin with his nice moves. He gets the far first goal. Oh, sorry. It was Nunes Darwin. Yeah. Whatever, they're both the same. And he got the goal onto the last minute of the first half. And two minutes left on the extra time. So let's see if they can utilize that extra one minute. And the kickoff has already been started. And we can see that the goalkeeper is going to go get the ball. And he's going to go in for the pass. No, he's, got, he's going in for the shoot. And Mohamed Salah is going to be there to intercept. But... That's going to be it for the first half. And let's see. It's one on one. Let's see how the, how well that ends. So what do you think? Are we going to be the third game in the round? Or is it going to be just the first match of the night? We can't judge from just the first match. Not even the first match. Just the first half. Because it's currently tied. One for one. Both teams have scored one. So I think there is a chance that we might be seeing the third game. Because it's already very you know balanced out. The both of them, and now they're just making changes to their strategies. So soon we will have a different approach to the game. And this Diogo Jota, uh, sorry, not Diogo Jota. They're just you know changing up some of the players, both uh, Inter Milan and Liverpool. So we will be seeing some changes to be made, which will end up in a good, you know, good uh, game in the second half. <clears throat> but one thing, if I do ask you, what do you think currently the way Inter Milan is 
playing very aggressive, very, you know, crosswise, do you think they can sustain if they keep continuing this mission and start? If you ask me, that <coughs> the way they are playing, they are leaving a lot of space for the enemy to go in. They are just being super aggressive. They are not playing defensive. So uh, if Liverpool gets a chance, I think they will, then that's going to be paying them a very hard time. And uh, I think that uh, Inter Milan should play a bit defensive. I mean, uh, you still have another whole half almost, and uh, you have a goal on your scoreboard, so I think you should be a bit defensive and counter-attack when you get the momentum. Yeah, so waiting for the moment is the best option right now, but Salah from the side off, Liverpool back to Henderson. Henderson is going to pass the ball to Nunes, Nunes, but the ball did get intercepted by <coughs> Brozovic, and this time this is Lautano Martinez trying to fight for the ball, and he has taken the control of the ball. He's sending the ball to Correa. Correa with the chip tries to get it in front of Lukaku, but unfortunately it got intercepted by Liverpool. And this time this is Inter Milan once again with a corner kick. I think they're going to go. Send it very further deep in, and yeah, this is on go, and he's just looking for the perfect opportunity. He sends the ball flying, but Van Dijk is there to defend. Ball is still here for Inter Milan, and Correa has taken control of the ball. He is trying to dribble as much as possible, and I think he'll be going. Ah, oh, yeah, he just, he's just, we just went out of bounds. That is not a good sign for them, and Alexander Arnold sending the ball to Salah. Salah de Fabinho, back to Arnold. Salah. Getting intercepted by Lukaku. Lukaku trying to get the ball in front of the D box, but it did get intercepted. Brozovic has control of the ball. Fabinho sending the ball to Jones. Jones, but Dumfries is there to take control of the ball. And now he goes for a very weak pass. And that weak pass ended up giving the possession back to Liverpool. And this is Jones once again sending the ball to Diogo Jota. Dumfries. Goes for a pass, getting intercepted by Jones. Jones to Jota once again. I think we might be seeing a cross and a chance of dribbling, but unfortunately the dribble failed. And yeah, this time this is Fabinho once again passing the ball to Salah. Salah to Jota. Jota to Nunes. Nunes uh, again going for a pass, but it did get intercepted by Milan. And Milan is looking for a counter. Uh, Lukaku is there, but unfortunately the ball will go to Kunate. Two back to Arnold, and Arnold will send the ball flying. But it will get intercepted by the Milan side once again. Callan Howe is there and the ball goes to Correa. Correa! Lukaku has somehow got in control of the ball. But that is a foul. And I believe we might be seeing a great free kick from that position. What do you think? This position is very risky. I, I, I guess it's going to be a goal coming in from Inter Milan. Because we've seen some great goals coming in from this position right here. So let's see how well that ends. And that was just a simple pass coming in from Inter Milan. I, th I, I thought that there's there's going to be a nice shot coming in from the Inter Milan. They're going to be taking that high risk for a biscuit. Biscuit for a biscuit, as we say. So, yeah, nonetheless, we can see that the score is still the same one on tie. Let's see who breaks the tie and who breaks the ice. All right, Jones onto that nice shot and nice piece of defending coming in from the goalkeeper. But that's going to be out of the bounds. And there's going to be another throw coming in from Liverpool. Alright, so we have some formation change coming in from Liverpool again. Let's see how well that ends for Liverpool. One thing we did not notice is that Liverpool has gotten themselves a red card. And that was Fabinho when he tackled out Lukaku and it's gonna be a very tough fight for them if they do end up going 10 against 11. So currently if it what Inter Milan needs to do is go full on the offensive because they have the number advantage and Liverpool they are missing one of their midfielders that is not a good sign for them and Robinson is there he will be sending the ball and the ball unfortunately goes to Dzeko and Dzeko is gonna send the ball back to Lukaku. Lukaku tries to Get a pass down, but it did get intercepted. Zeko once again trying to get the ball to Korea, but that is an offside. That being said, this is the second offside for Inter Milan, and I believe that if they do end up going forward, uh, Inter Milan they have a higher chance of scoring because they have the number advantage. And Elliot, this is it from Liverpool. Diogo Jota sending the ball to Elliot, but that is gonna be an offside a lot of offsides in this match would you agree 
Yeah, well, the formation, I think they need to change it up a bit, but well, it's working out for them. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. And we can see that 70 minutes have already been passed onto the timeline. And let's see how well they use that last 18 minutes on the score. So, we can see that Liverpool is trying their so hard to get a single goal onto their name but on the other hand Liverpool they are lacking a bit behind I think Liverpool needs to step up their game they're being super defensive I think you need to be a bit aggressive because the time is almost running out and there's going to be another kick coming in for Inter Milan and let's see DeMarco and for the kick that was a nice kick coming in and that's going to be a close call almost it hit the bar, but still no goal. All right, we can see Marco has the ball to himself again. On to Korea. Korea, it was a nice opportunity, but he missed it. And again, again, Inter Milan with a nice pass, nice possession. Oh, no, with the third offside. I, I, I guess now it's getting a bit of bad. That was a bit of a bad luck for Inter Milan, but that is what it is because you cannot score a goal with an offside at the same time. And this is Correa trying to get the ball to Lukaku. Lukaku sends the ball to Sheko. Sheko has a good chance and he scores. An amazing pass coming out from Lukaku to Zeko. And Zeko capitalizing the entire opportunity and scoring at the same time. Beautiful gameplay coming out from Zeko. Oh my goodness, and Lukaku, for the first time in his life, he has done something that is worthy of praise. And that was just amazing coming out from Lukaku, as well as Zeko. Not about the players in game, it's about the players that are in the game. That was nice balls coming in. Enter Milan, and as we they are taking out. They are going in to change the formation again. I think they are just trying their best to like. They are just being paranoid about the players and the formations. They they just want everything to be perfect. All right, Henderson has the ball to himself. The kick off has been started. Fabio he has the ball to himself. He it, that was a nice cross, but gets intercepted by Inter Milan, and. Ball is going to go onto the other side of the map. And as we can see that Lukaku is printing his lungs out. But gets intercepted by Robertson. And Lukaku almost had another chance. There was a mistake. There was a fault between Liverpool and Lukaku. Abused that opportunity but missed as well. And as we can see that they earned themselves another corner kick. And let's see how well that ends. I'm and apparently, I don't like the formation that they're playing in Milan. That basically, there is no player in the D box. I think that's going to be a bit risky. But nonetheless, that was a missed shot coming in from Inter Milan. As I said, that you must have more players in D box so that if even if you miss your shot, you could have another chance. But nonetheless, it's them playing. I have nothing to judge. And Henderson onto Elliot. Elliot. Going in onto Vandy and Fabio onto Elliot. Nice piece of pass coming in, but gets intercepted by Inter Milan and onto Alexander Arnold. Only two minutes, only one minute left at the clock. I think it's going to be an easy win for Inter Milan. But that was a nice, nice try coming in from Liverpool, but nonetheless, Inter Milan is dominating at this moment. And as we can see, five minutes extra onto. That is some time there. You can use some magic, use some skill to get another goal, but that is hardly gonna happen. But let's see how well that ends. Yeah, this is the one final try for. But that Bilal has set the ball and two tired of and the shot on the mark. And the first match of the grand final goes to. Oh, he who is playing in a Milan. Anyway, guys, we'll be right back in a bit. The second match of the night.
Alright guys, we are back again with the second match of the finals and the game has already been started and as we can see that Liverpool is being very aggressive this time. They are not going to go easy. So this game is the GEG finals and the winner is the champion of eFootball of Bangladesh and Diego he lost the ball from his possession onto Korea and Robertson Robertson lost the ball and he got the ball again Diego onto Fabeno Jota he is he messed up that pass but nonetheless Barella onto Fabinho he, Nunes almost had the ball but gets intercepted by Inter Milan and Inter Milan is slowly making their way towards the goalpost and that was a nice coming nice cross coming and but that miss head in that nice special moment. Nonetheless, the goalkeeper is going to end with the kick. Yeah, and this time I think Liverpool they are trying to select Calico. Yeah, I'm gonna go be a kick for Inter Milan. Very risky position, and if the corner kick is chance and a great shot a great header but it get defended by Kelleher and Jota is there passing the ball in yo Jota sending the ball to this and there is their chance to score the pass is needed and a great oh. shot but this is the bar and the goal by just an inch and that is just how close the ball was getting into the back of the net and this is Hanovich once again sending the ball to Dino and now Roberto has yeah Korea is the one who's gonna pass the ball on to uh there was a chance for a good pass but Fabinho capitalized at an intersects it again getting the ball inside the D box but they will have to go back once again Dio here and yeah, a great chance of passing the run the ball, but it will be accepted. Taro Martinez is there, he passes the ball, but it did by Liverpool. And yeah, this time Lothar defended the ball from goal onwards to their goal side. And this time Van Dyke is here. Fabinho, Fabinho passing the ball on to Nunes. Nunes to Roberto Fabinho once again. Nunes is chasing the ball, but this time Di Marco sends the ball to Hamdanovic. And that being said, this is Diogo Jota. Uh, there was a good attempt at passing, but it did get intercepted. And this is Correa. Correa passing the ball to Lukaku, but Lukaku did get stopped by Van Dyke. Alright, we can see that. And no goals under the scoreboard, and we can see that Inter Milan almost, almost had a goal. This was their second time trying in for the goal, and again we are seeing that some kind of formation change coming in from Liverpool. Right, this these formation changes are very essential that they can get the support that they want. Right, and I. They are done with it. And as we can add the and he is in for and yes, alright, so this on to top but gets intercepted by Dong and we add Bondi on to Robertson. But is that pass. And a nice shot coming in from Inter Milan, but that is being by the goal. And we can see another the first corner kick coming in this second round finals and uh, we can see that Inter Milan has the ball and the strategy again players are in the D box I think this might play on to their luck but no corner kicks are so should I say difficult I think I don't know I, I could never get a goal that's another as we can see, the 30 minutes have already been passed, but any of the side. 
both of the team, both of the players, both of the players, they are skillfully met. That's the reason why they are against each other in finals to become the Bangladesh champion. All right, Nunes has the ball to himself. He is trying to tackle it out and going in for the kick, but that was <laughs> that was some uh, fancy move coming in and on to Jones. He has the ball to himself. Diego on to Jota, and they are trying again for the shoot. But DeMarco is going to be there to defend it out, tackle it out, and get the ball on the other side of the map. But Fabinho on to Diego. They are trying again. Liverpool is being aggressive right now. And DeMarco is going to be there, the defendant of the goal. So, um, so that there's not going to be any goal coming in. And while defending, Lukaku is going to be there, that cheeky guy. Defending and going on the counter attack that was super smooth. I wasn't expecting that to be honest and that goal was amazing from this side It was almost that the Liverpool is gonna be going in for the D box But then again Lukaku that sneaky guy going in full Aggressive and gonna get that goal that was a nice piece of counter attack coming in from Inter Milan and Nunes is gonna be going in with a goal again what's happening what's happening two goals back to back for both of the teams this is insane no one's backing off no one's laying back no one's slacking they are just being super aggressive and they both are skillfully matched I must say on to you I do agree at this time this is Liverpool going on the offensive once again but Inter Milan almost defending but Diogo Jota finding a little bit of opening and he goes for the shoot but Handanovic is there to stop the ball and this is Lautaro Martinez trying to get the ball and yeah bro yeah this time Liverpool again going in on the offensive but the shot it's just a bit too far and that being said, we are going to go for the goal kick. And yeah, this is Handanovic. He will be sending the ball forward, sending the ball forward onto Lautaro Martinez. And Lautaro Martinez, he did with the header and the ball goes to Dumfries. Dumfries back to Lautaro. Lautaro Martinez sending the, trying to get the ball to Lukaku. But unfortunately, it did get defended. Van Dijk to Jones. Jones to Jota. Jota to Jones once again. And Jones sending the ball to... Tiago and Tiago back to Jota and Jota sending the ball to Jones. Jones sending the ball to Nunes, but it is just a bit too far. Unfortunately, like a great number of attempts coming out from Liverpool, but unfortunately, their conversion rates are not that good. They have tried about uh, five or six uh, shots, but only one of them has connected, while three of them were on target. So this time it is Inter Milan who are going to be kicking the game off. Great pass on to Correa. Correa trying to get a pass down to Lukaku, but it will get intercepted. Jones passing the ball to Jota. Jota losing the ball to the Verge. And yeah, once again, Fabinho trying to get the ball inside the D box. And Thiago once again sends the ball back to Firmino. But DiMarco is there to defend. And now this is. Robertson, Robertson trying to get the ball down, but it will get intercepted by the Inter Milan side. And this is Gomez. Gomez will be sending the ball uh, back to their side, but this is Colin. Oh, and I think he'll go for a pass on to Correa. Correa with a great cross! An attempt by Inter Milan, but unfortunately they could not convert the chance. Diego Jota to Jones. Jones sends the ball to Nunes. Nunes to Jota. Again, Jota to Nunes. Nunes to Firmino. Firmino to Thiago. Thiago with a long shot. Nunes, but the ball is just too far. All right, it's going to be another offside coming in favor of Inter Milan and Liverpool. They are trying their best to get an It's one on one. 55 minutes have passed. Fabinho is coming in. For the save so that there's not gonna be a corner and he gets uh, okay he was successful but nonetheless that was a fail pass coming in from his teammate so uh, we can see that DiMarco had the ball to himself and on to Correa Fabinho has the ball to himself Jones he is surely but sure, uh, 
prematurely going towards the T-Box Armenio and another offside. So many offsides coming in this match particularly. I think that the formation is a bit too hefty, but who, who am I to judge? Alright, so DeMarco has the ball to himself and he is moving in for the kick and this time we can see that Inter Milan has the ball onto Correa and Correa is gonna go again but Gomez what was that? That was very slacky out onto Barella, Barella onto that was fast coming in and Roberto is gonna be there to intercept Fabinho is going to be there that nice sliding tackle was in favor of Inter Milan and now they're in going for the cross again they have a nice chance but um that was his match that he should have gone for the kick he decided to pass that was a shot he just need to shoot nonetheless we people always make mistakes so let's just ignore that one Right, as we can see some nation changes coming in again. This is the fourth time in this match with seeing some nation changes. Let's see. Yeah, yeah this time I think again uh, we are to the final phase of the match. So the formations and everything, they will matter a lot from this point onwards. But if they do end up going to time, it will be another sticky situation for the players as well. Because every single one of them are now in the red. So their stamina is already in the red. So it will be very tough for them to do their thing and stay for such a long time. So this time we're seeing changes being made. Changes will so they will be very essential for a lose match. Match this is uh yeah. Win for Inter Milan and this Mkhitaryan, Mkhitaryan chip. But Van Dyke is there with a great overhead kick defending, and Mkhitaryan once again tries to go for the cross, but get intercepted by Liverpool again, and for. For me, trying to get the ball to Henderson, but it did get intercepted by Inter Milan. Again, the battle of intercessions is amazing, and this time Nunes is here one on one against the goalkeeper, but he did get intercepted. Unfortunately, Henderson passes the ball to Firmino. Firmino sends the ball to Musala. Musala will try, but unfortunately, Reese trying to get the ball forward, but it just goes out of bounds. Gomez and Gomez. Anderson, Anderson, Jota, Jota to uh, Inyo, back to Jota and Jota. Anderson, Mohamed Salah is there, but Inter Milan is there to take the ball away from them. Deco is trying to see the ball flying, but it did get intercepted. Anderson sending the ball back to Diogo Jota, and there was a good attempt, but they did not. And this time, this is Inter Milan trying to go in on the defensive. And yeah, this is DiMarco from his side. And he is going to pass the ball. But unfortunately, he did get intercepted. But the ball goes back to Inter Milan once again. This battle of chances. Everyone is taking chances and trying to get the ball for DiMarco with a bad pass. And Inter Milan regain possession of the ball. This time, this is Zeko once again. Mkhitaryan. Passing the ball on to Zeko. Lukaku is asking for the ball. A pass, but a failed pass. And the Liverpool defense, they're just that good. And they have defended. Diogo Jota trying to go in for a counter-attack. Henderson, but the ball is going to get sold by Mkhitaryan. And this again from Liverpool. Uh, yeah, this time again, Zeko trying to take possession of the ball. Lautaro Martinez. The star boy for Argentina, and he goes for a chip, but it was very weak. So, Kelter easily defended the goal. But as we can see, there's only five minutes left at the clock. It's a nice situation for me. If he manages to get a single goal, then he'll be securing that championship onto his name very easily. 
but I don't think that Sheesh is going to be giving him an easy time. All right, as we can see that Liverpool is going to be defending that very easily. Liverpool almost had a chance. No, I mean, sorry, in, uh, Inter Milan almost had a chance, but Liverpool, he was they were there to defend it out, and we are seeing an offside coming in. 30 seconds left at the clock. It's going to be very very interesting let's see how well that ends and some formation changes in again now on the other hand my caster is half asleep all right so i think i'll have to carry it out so as we can see that most of the players have been ran out of their stamina i think uh substitution is the best way to go here because if if you don't have stamina you players won't be able to run so that's the way to go and we can see that only six seconds are left for them to decide or else the match will forcefully start and as we can see that uh, we are waiting on an opponent let's see how much that's gonna take all right yeah so the game has been started and as we can see we're going to be starting off from that offside goalkeeper is going to be starting off with the kick and they only have 30 seconds left i'm not seeing how much extra time the refs have given them but nonetheless mohammed salah on to fermino but the ball was intercepted zeko had the has the ball to himself but loses it instantly As aslani has the ball to himself on to inter milan and he is that gomez is going in with oh, okay yeah we're gonna be going in on the overtime so what do you think uh is uh is there gonna be another game after this or is it gonna be it uh do you think that mohi is gonna be stepping up his game anytime soon observe in this match there is no way for us to predict if this will be the last match or if the grand final will go to the best of three third match because both the players they are very equally skilled very similar so it's very hard for us to match but let's just hope not going in on it get intercepted by liverpool and this is liverpool defense and yeah this time Irvilan trying to send the ball forward, it gets stopped by Liverpool. Trying to do something different, and I believe that passing the ball around as much as possible. Lukaku has the ball, he will be going for a shot, but it did get stopped by Liverpool. At this time, Diogo Jota is there, he is passing the ball to Nunes. Nunes back to Fabinho. Sorry, Fabinho, and Fabinho is losing the ball to Inter Milan. Inter Milan with the ball, sending the ball forward. Uh, Lukaku and Lukaku could not catch the ball. Opportunity a counter attack from Liverpool side. Liverpool is currently looking to attack as much as possible. They, did. they are passing the ball around, and it was a great chance, but I believe it was another offside. Uh, so many offsides coming in the formation. I think they need to change their tactics, but nonetheless, it's one on one. 100 minutes have already been left uh, spent. Um, Jota has the ball. Liverpool being a bit aggressive, but gets defended by Inter Milan. Inter Milan, they are going in for the counter attack, but gets defended again by Liverpool. And Liverpool is trying, but they are. Not really in the position to get aggressive, they need to defend it out. And as we see that Inter Milan is aggressive, they are just going in for the possession, they are not being aggressive and going in hungry for the kill. Uh, I mean, sorry, both. And as we can see, that the first half of the overtime has been done, and we are moving in on to the second half. And as we as some formation changes coming in from Liverpool again. Let's see how well that ends for Team Liverpool. And I think they are done. That no, I think Inter Milan is busy changing some stuff. Let's see. All right, I think they're 
that. And the game is going to be started again. Second half of the overtime. Right, so Inter Milan is going to be coming in with the kick off this time. Yota had the ball to himself, but gets intercepted. Henderson is making his way to a post, but no, gets inter interrupt interrupted. Phillips getting some clash with the goalkeeper, but nonetheless, the goalkeeper managed to get the ball magically to himself. Henderson has the ball to himself on Yota. Yota miss passes the ball and some. And now on to Inter Milan, but Konate, he is going to be defending and giving the ball to the opponent. This is another opportunity for Inter Milan to attack. The ball is still near the box of Liverpool. They are in a very sticky situation. But another opponent getting called that this, yeah, this was on who were offside and really hurt. Flying upward to Rubinho, but it did get intercepted. Zeko has control of the ball, and Zeko did go for pass, but it did get intercepted. Amasala and Di Marco is there to intercept, and the ball is gonna get flying to Liverpool side. And this time, Gallardy is the Zeko trying to go for the attack, but Gita is there, and this is person. All back to Jota. Jota to Gakpo. Gakpo sending the ball to Jota. Roberto Firmino. Mo Salah is there. He's trying to dribble. He will be sending the ball. But Inter Milan is there to defend. And now this is Deco once again to Gal. Uh, get, yeah. Back to Lukaku. And Lukaku will be trying to dribble. And Zeko has control of the ball. But it will get taken by Phillips. Phillips is going to be passing the ball to Salah. Salah has control of the ball. He's moving upwards. And Diogo Jota, he's there. But it won't matter because the game has ended in a tie. So we will be going for a tiebreaker. And this is the time when Ish, he is finally feeling the pressure. Because if he does lose the tiebreaker, this will be game over for him. And if Mo if he can secure the tiebreaker, this will be his time to shine, and he will be the one who Bangladesh coming champion of Bangladesh. Um, so I guess this is goal situation we're gonna. Oh, penalty! All right, so this is already getting interested. Mohamed Salah going in with the first goal. I'm already liking this. Mohamed Salah, he is a magical player indeed. He is going to be going in for the first kick off. And let's see. I think I'm seeing that a hack. No, I don't think so. So, the first goal going in for Mohamed Salah. And let's see how well Inter Milan plans on defending this one. Right. And, ooh. That was a miss shot coming in from Mooney. That was really sad. On to you. Yeah, that was just Lukaku being Lukaku. Gakpo is the one who's going to be taking the shot. And it goes in. And Liverpool has scored two. Inter Milan has not gotten a single uh, shot yet. This is going to be their second trial at this. And... And he scores! Inter Milan is still in the game. And Sheesh, this is his third attempt. Roberto Firmino. He shoots and he scores three against one. Liverpool, they have secured each and every one of the goals. But in Milan, they did fail to secure the first one. And it was attributed to Lukaku and Di Marco with an amazing shot. He did manage to score. And this time, this. Eta trying to score and he scores. This is four for Liverpool, two for Inter Milan, and the next one. If Inter Milan does not score this, they are out. And Milan what? And they score. This is a four. 
three and this time Inter Milan they will have to defend this one if they want to stay in the game but if Liverpool scores this they are they are the winners oh insane insane for real and this time at <laughs> Inter Milan they will have to score this if they want to stay in the game this is Kelleher versus Lautaro Martinez if I'm not wrong oh that is not oh my god we are gonna go to the second phase of the tiebreaker man oh man that was so intense that was so intense well Basically, penalty is a mind game, and here your skills don't matter. It's all about luck and how you train your brain. You gotta outsmart your opponent, and that's what we are seeing. An amazing save coming in from Inter Milan. These two players are being super smart about their next move. They are so skillfully matched that I am amazed to see that another goal coming in from Inter Milan and we have our champion it is none other than our favorite player Movi and she did his best if if only if he had another shot he would have surely gone for that comeback on to you yeah uh, man uh, kudos to she she was playing amazingly and uh Mohi always being the great player he is, he did manage to secure the victory once again. And with that being said, that is it for today. We have gotten our champion. It is Mohi, who will be representing Bangladesh in the national in the international stage. And with that being said, this is uh, this is it for us. So thank you so much for watching. We are gonna go offline, and please do keep supporting our players. Thank you.